The menace of potholes in Bengaluru continues to haunt residents of India's IT hub. Recently, a pothole surfaced in the city's PNS layout, which has allegedly resulted in several accidents also. Res residents are now demanding a permanent solution this time. Civic authorities, clearly as it appears, are not able to fix this issue. And there's no reason of why they have failed consistently. Here's a report from Bengaluru. This is a reality check. Multiple accidents. No permanent fix. No accountability. No action. Potholes in Namma Bengaluru are here to stay, it seems. Despite the Karnataka High Court's warning to Bengaluru civic body officials to fill all potholes in the city, the BBMP has failed to fulfill its mission. This pothole in PNS layout has allegedly resulted in several accidents. And the residents claim that despite multiple complaints, the civic authorities failed to fix the pothole. Master Sudhir is developing a big hole in front of our shop and at the night time not visible much more. That's why a lot of uh, vehicles will be happening here, accident here, accident, two times accident here. Then uh, no authorities come on here to make the things properly and the road uh, make it good for the traveling. Fed up with civic apathy, residents in the area have taken matters into their own hands. Kempu Raju Krishnan, the leader of a Dalit organization in the area, along with other residents, temporarily closed the pothole with cement and mud. In this constituency, we see a lot of potholes are there, which is very dangerous to the uh, pedestrians who are walking, or actually people who are coming by uh, bike, or walking, by cycle, by car. You know, it has, it's created a lot of uh, panic here, here in our area. And we took the initiative ourselves, and we thought actually we informed most of the people because this car doesn't come, this pothole doesn't come under major roads, but still we just intimated, they said it come, uh, doesn't come under major roads, so we intimated the engineer, local BBMP. To prevent further accidents, locals also put up a no parking board in the middle of the pothole to warn commuters to be careful. We are right now standing in PNS layout next to Dr. Rajkumar Park in Banaswadi. There is a pothole here. Residents have been telling us that this pothole has been there for over a month. And this is nothing but sheer civic apathy. The BBMP officials have not done anything about it. In fact, after being fed up, after witnessing several accidents that have been taking place, thanks to this pothole, the residents themselves have come up and, um, and they had used some cement and mud to temporarily fix this pothole. With civic authorities allegedly showing no interest in fixing this menace, the residents claim the pothole's size has been increasing. Offline, we are seeing this particular pothole is causing a lot of nuisance. People around uh, are not able to walk or causing a lot of damage to people. Uh, maybe the old, elderly people who are passing by have met with an accident. We have witnessed that. And uh, we have also reported this incident uh, to the nearest MLA, who is Jack Sar. He took an immediate action towards it, but then uh, uh, that was a, not a, a permanent solution, I would say. At least five people have died in pothole-related accidents in India's Silicon Valley this year. Citizens are now saying enough is enough. They want a permanent solution to this civic issue. We have heard the voices of Bengaluru citizens. They are absolutely fed up with patch roads. And in fact, this road is only temporarily fixed by the residents themselves because they were fed up and the BBMP officials did not turn up, so they, so they went ahead and fixed this road themselves. And the roads are very, very patchy and, you, as, and as you can see, commuters are slowing down. There is a down and then an up. The roads are patchy. It is a temporary jugad that the residents have taken up. They are absolutely fed up by the civic apathy and are requesting BBMP officials to look into this a pothole menace with urgency. With video journalist Shivashankar Anagakesha for India Today, Bengaluru. So this time residents are demanding a permanent solution. We are talking about portholes that literally have returned or actually never went away from the streets. As recent as September 20, look how dangerous. This is on a busy street even though later barricaded. Then in the month of October, 
then an incident where a woman lost her life because she lost control while she was riding her uh, wheeler and then that, sh that fell and that she got run over October, September. This clearly showing that there is not yet any recent change that's been happening. Let's go now live to my colleague Anaga for the latest on that in Bengaluru. Anaga, you've been bringing us that ground report coming in from uh, Karnataka. But is this a part of the city? Is it different areas of the city? You know, and, and importantly, what is the administration saying about it? Pooja, no matter where you go in Bengaluru, it is riddled with potholes, be it in the outer ring area or be it in Banaswadi where we went to yesterday on ground. Mm. So the pothole in PNS layout has surfaced over a month back and the residents there, the eyewitnesses, the ones who run tea stalls there, they told us that I think over a week back, they told us the senior citizen was on his way for his morning walk in Dr. Rajkumar Park, which is right next to the pothole. And when he was on his bike, he lost control and actually fell down. Likewise, several pedestrians have also twisted their ankles. They've actually fallen down in the pothole. So after being fed up with all this, the residents came up with their own innovative method to at least alert the commuters. Yes. Forget about BJP, uh, forget about BB, sorry, BBMP officials coming and filling, filling in the potholes. They took the matter with their own hands and with their own expense. They filled, they did a temporary jugad with their own money and their own expense. They used some cement and mud to temporarily fill mm. the pothole. But because of Bengaluru range, the pothole resurfaced again. And mm. now they made a no parking site to alert the commuters coming from the opposite direction to tell them that, hey, there's a pothole, slow down, beware, don't, when you're navigating the pothole, be, uh, be careful. So but as you know, if the administration would actually jump in and not do a jugad and do a permanent solution, everyone will have their share of convenience. But, you know, let's go and take the shorter route and that's what the problem has been. And that's what's results in civic apathy. Anaga, thank you for getting us that ground report.